Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm giving my market update along with five cryptos that I'm personally looking at. It's not to say I'm buying these, but I've got my eyes set on it. But because we've had such a hit the last couple of days, I'm just keeping an eye, taking it day by day and seeing what the chart tells me. Welcome to the new viewers out there. If this is your first video you're watching on my channel, I'm The Crypto Diet. I'm currently doing my master's in economics at Monash University. I'm also working in the banking and finance industry. And it's my goal with this channel to always be honest, unbiased and respectful on every single video I do. So this is not a pump every coin to the moon type of channel. I'm going to be honest takes all round. If you like the sound of that, give me a like, give me a subscribe. But let's talk about the charts and let's talk about the market overall first before I give you my five cryptos that I'm looking at. So having a look at, of course, Bitcoin, because Bitcoin still dictates the market overall. And you can see that we got hit very, very hard, especially for Bitcoin to go down. 7.65% in a day is quite big. And you can see the bar, not exactly the best look. And I remember seeing this when it happened on the 17th of February, high open low close and I'm like we're gonna keep getting hit down and I knew we were gonna have a few days down and see what's happened here guys the last few days how we had a big dump we started to rebuild people snagged a nice 20 to anywhere between 20 to 50 percent either on Bitcoin or other alts and then we get the dump I think that this pattern is going to continue for at least a couple months. The reason for that is I just don't think we have enough good news. The sentiment is still a bit kind of sad and bleak around the world, especially around crypto. I think the smart money is just going to keep doing this for a few times, maybe two to three times. Happily be proven wrong, but I think what's going to happen is we're going to go down, we're going to go up, we're going to go down, we're going to go up, we're going to go down, and we're going to keep going through, sort of in this phase for a little while before we start getting some really good positive news and start really getting a leg up. And the chart is telling me that there's a lot of selling happening. So we had big sell-offs on the 21st of Ju January, 22nd of January, and again, 17th of Feb, 18th of Feb. Now notice the bars for the volume aren't as high as 20th and 19th. So they've already cleared out the weak hands, more buying, more selling. And it's pretty clear that smart money is taking, like I said, in between 20 to 50% profit across all cryptos, not just Bitcoin, but across cryptos. And they're going to do this again, I think. And then you know, keep doing it until we really get some positive momentum where a lot of smart money want to go long. But that's Bitcoin at the moment. Where do I see Bitcoin going? Well, I always said in basically all of my videos, I expect Bitcoin to go between the 618 mark and the 50% mark, which is this area here. If we can break through on high volume, which we did, we went to the $41,000 mark and we got rejected at 236 mark. So I'll be looking for more play happening around here. Worst case scenario, 618, which is around $35,000 Bitcoin. Big, bit of wiggle room here and there, but I don't think we're going to get anything too bad beneath the low that we put on the 22nd of January or anything like that. So 32,000, 33,000 seems to be Bitcoin's ultimate major support. If we broke that, probably time to call it a bear market. But like I said, always a bit of wiggle room here and there. Having a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has broken down quite hard. I did say in my video that I would be shocked if, if Ethereum did break the one mark, which is around that $2,819 mark. It did break it. So I was proven wrong and it did pull back. And I mean, you have to call it like it is. I don't get every call right, but here is my yellow line of support, which is around that $2,400 mark. I wouldn't want to see Ethereum breaking down because this seems like a pretty nice buying opportunity for the smart money. You can see very, very, very high volume, a lot of buying happening here. And then they make their money. They make their, you know, like I said, 20, 30, 40, 50% on Ethereum, dump it, people pick it up and they're getting dumped on at the moment. And I think it's going to continue to get choppy before we make more and they start pumping it up again and making more money. Just what I think. Crypto total market cap, which includes all the cryptos, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, 786 mark at 1.65 trillion. You can see a lot of support happening around here. If we broke these levels, I'd be a bit worried. So worst case, I see us going around here again. You can see that the bar sort of fell a bit. Like I said, there's a bit of wiggle room, but I wouldn't want to see us going around the one mark for too long. I want to see us have a bit of a leg up, but yeah, definitely all signs pointing to a bit of a nice pullback. Total market cap two, which includes all cryptocurrencies except for Ethereum. You can see here that I've got another chart, one mark. So that's around that $917 billion mark ultimate support. So you can see guys, we still have a bit of room for it to really go and test support. So that's why I think the pullback is going to continue. Maybe we'll get a, a day up or two days up, but I don't think any significant, any significant things are going to happen probably for all of next week. Yeah. Everything's just pointed to a bit of a pullback in the market. Total market cap three, which includes all cryptos except for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And this one's looking like we're already testing a bit of major support zones, but ultimate support zone, the one mark wouldn't really want to see it bursting past the 614 $644 billion mark, but ultimate support is the one mark at $597 billion. And I did say in all my videos, I expected Bitcoin dominance to go up. 
that looks to be the case. So we've had three consecutive days of Bitcoin going up and this is just what it is. This is the market sentiment. People are afraid right now in investing. It's just not as hyped as it once was. Like I said, a lot of things happening in the world events and I expect Bitcoin to continue its dominance up to around 44% for its major 50%. So still a bit of wiggle room. You've got the 50% here at 43% dominance and it looks like we might test it around here but I do anticipate Bitcoin dominance to continue to get rise and go up. I think it's a, a very safe investment for a lot of people at the moment. And like I said, the smart money is happy with 20 to 50% profit. They're not like uh, the retail who are looking for, you know, a 50,000 X on a coin. All right, so let's go through my top five cryptos. Now, first one is AVAX. I did a video on this one, I'll link it below. But AVAX has looked really, really good on chart. If you know me and Michael Pizzino, um, and Jason Pizzino, we talk about the 50% mark. This is GAN's golden ratio here at $78.16, coming at the 50% mark for AVAX or Avalanche as it's called. And you can see we, even though a lot of cryptos are bleeding and bleeding heavily, I can show you so many charts, guys, of cryptos bleeding, going all the way down. And you want to look at a chart out and you want to see how many support zones it's breaking and a lot of cryptos are bleeding out to somewhere around there where my white scribble is but with avax it's actually not even touched its major 50 percent zone and it's just amazing to see such a resilient coin i do own this coin personally and it's one that i probably will put more into because it just looks so resilient especially in these uncertain times this is what strength looks like on a chart in the white zone area you can see we broke the 6818 mark Got about to test the 50% mark. I do anticipate AVAX to test it. it. Might break through, but if it breaks through it, I don't think it's going to go down against me too much. And that's what's nice about the 50% is that if it goes against you, it won't go against you too hard. And generally, you'll be able to come with it on the upside and very quickly too with crypto. But you really want to make sure that you get your buy zones. AVAX against Ethereum. So you know me, I like to compare my cryptos to either Bitcoin or Ethereum if I can, if there's a chart available. And you can see how different the chart looks when you compare it to say something like Ethereum or, or Bitcoin. You can see that on a chart, it actually looks pretty good, especially considering these times. So Ethereum and Bitcoin are safe investments. You saw the Bitcoin dominance go up. You can see AVAX is outperforming Ethereum and Ethereum is generally outperforming Bitcoin. So you can see just how good AVAX looks when you compare it to Bitcoin or Ethereum. It looks very, very strong. So that's why I personally... Uh, like of AVAX a lot. Next coin, surprisingly, Akomi. Now I wanna be a little bit careful with this recommendation because Akomi got hit really, really hard the last three days. High open, low close, big, big, big fight between the bulls and the bears on the 19th of February. Even bigger battle between the bulls and the bears on the 20th of Feb. You can see tested 50% zone, but you can see how long Omi or Akomi has spent in that 50% area. It's done very, very, very well considering how low of a market cap this is. It's looked, and I'm, You're seeing how amazed I am, but you can see just how good this coin has looked on a chart. But like I said, the last three days has me very concerned for Omi. I would not want to see Omi or Akomi breaking that 0.005 cent mark. This would be a bit of a warning flag. So I've still got my eyes on Omi. It is very low cap, so it's a bit of a high risk, but it just looks so good on a chart. This continues to blow my blow me away with how good it's looked, but you can see some heavy sell-off days happening with Omi. And that's why it's important to ask yourself, why am I buying this coin? Am I buying it for six months, eight months, 10 months, 12 months, how long? But do have a goal in mind of when you're going to sell. Don't just hold it for 10 years because there's always new projects coming out, new innovation and new technologies. And that's just the way it goes in crypto. So Phantom is my next crypto. That's number three. Phantom has looked really, really good on a chart as well. You can see major in the white area a lot. Testing the 50% looks like we're probably going to break through it at around that dollar and 81 cent mark. So maybe you want to, this is what I say, I'm not buying anything at the moment. I'm just seeing what happens the next 24 to 48 hours. But these are my top picks right now. Like I said, testing the 50% zone, support at $1.57. I've put my horizontal line there and my next one at $1.21. So if Phantom hit that $1.57, that would probably be a buy signal for me. And if I was trading this, which I'd probably hold it long term, the most I see it going against me is 23%. If you broke that, I'd probably look at, say, the 95 cent mark. If it went beyond that, I'd probably start selling some and say it was just a bad call. But you can see that Phantom really doesn't like to spend too much time below its 50% mark. And it's looked phenomenal. But you're, we're breaking through at the moment. I'm just a little bit concerned with Phantom. And you can see Phantom versus Bitcoin at the moment or FTM. I've drawn my wedge. Like I said, you're seeing a bit of a pullback from Phantom. So I did anticipate us to break, test the 50% 50, 50 mark for this one. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But definitely a little bit concerned with Phantom at the moment. But out of all the cryptos, it's still pretty strong. Adam Cosmos, this one has been pretty much almost bulletproof as well. You can see another major 50% zone in the white area a lot. But... And this is what I think Phantom will look like. A bit of a breakdown, as you can see, pushing past the 50% mark, sitting at $25.90. 
50% mark is at $26.68. So we're actually breaking through with it. So if I did buy Adam at this major 50%, I'd be a little bit down, not too much down, but major support zones would be around that $23 mark and around the $20.18 $20 mark. That would be somewhere I would be happy for it to land. If you broke past that $20.18 mark, I would not be too happy, be pretty concerned about Adam. But you know, you can see, uh, notice a common theme here with my charts. They're not spending too long underneath their 50%. And we're in a downtrend, guys, where actually a lot of cryptos are getting hit hard at the moment. We haven't had a good leg up and the good cryptos are actually being held onto. So these are easy ones that can probably push past the all-time high again and you can start or get near the all-time high. You can make your easy 65% return right here, for example. And we've got Adam against BTC. So again, 50% zone. So breaking down a little bit, a little bit concerned. And I'll wait for things to see how play out for the next two to three days. Next one up is Luna. I love Luna. I think it's an awesome fundamental project. Chart has broken down past its 50%, not that much against me. But at the moment, if support my support zones or my horizontal line is at $43 and $37 respectively, I wouldn't really want to see Luna break past $37. If it did, it wouldn't look too good. But you know, you can see putting the all-time high in the December came crashing down, big day. You can see you know, a lot of selling happening from the 21st of June, but it looks like to me, and you can see with all the volume happening here, big red bars, it looks like a lot of people have sold out of Luna and I don't see much more selling left in Luna to me anyway. So always a bit of hands, always a bit of weak hands in the market, but I don't think Luna is going to break down too much. And you can already see the spread between the bars starting to narrow down. It just looks like a lot of people love Luna around this price. Anything could happen, you know, could get dumped on, but you can already see such huge bars. It looks like the selling might have been in for Luna. So that's going to do it with my video. I know I've talked about these cryptos a bit as well, but I'm personally for me, I'm just going long on some cryptos. I might do a, a portfolio tracker that I'll be doing every month. So let me know if you're keen to see that and just, you know, we can track my progress together and we can see how we're doing. But at the moment, not financial advice, as I always say, but for me personally, I'm just looking at very select cryptos because most cryptos are just looking weak. They're breaking down heavily and you're looking for ones that aren't breaking down as much or actually maintaining its ground. And those are probably the, some of the best that I've looked at so far. AVAX is probably the highlight uh, and that's my favorite one out of the five I've showed you. But ultimately the decision is yours, what you do, of course, but this is just what I'm looking at. But until then, I hope this market update helped you. If it did, again, give me a like, give me a subscribe and I will see you on the next video.